So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to August 1st. I am your host, King Beast Kaido. Before we get into this versus video, I'd like to point out that each piece of music and each product I use in this video each belongs to the retrospective companies. Pokemon belongs under the Pokemon Company, Game Freak, and Nintendo Companies. And Yu-Gi-Oh! belongs under Konami and Kazuki Tanahashi. Let's get into this video. Representing this corner, we have Pokemon as Pikachu sitting there and the cover art for the training card game. Pokemon developed under Satoshi Sajiri and Ken Sugimori, and a couple of friends developed Game Freak. Capsule Mantras was pitched to Nintendo numerous times but failed. Sajiri unfortunately had found a friend in Mie Moto, and they developed the idea for six years and they switched the name to Pocket Mantras, which abbreviates to Pokemon. And in this corner we have Yu Gi Oh! and it cover art for the, the training card game. Yes. And it started out in 1996 as a manga series written by Kazuki Takahashi. Sorry, what I meant to say there is the cover art for the trading company, Yu Gi Oh! So let's get into each franchise's net worth. Pokemon has 90 billion and Yu Gi Oh! has 19.8 billion. Now the game sales. Pokemon has 1.31 billion units sold with Pokemon Go and they made a profit of 17.138 billion. And Yu Gi Oh! has 329 million as a profit from their game. Pokemon has printed over 25.7 billion cards and has made a profit of 110.853 billion. Yu-Gi-Oh! has sold over 25 billion cards and has made a profit of 11.161 billion. In manga sales, Pokemon has made 1.46 billion. Yu-Gi-Oh! has sold 40 million for 3.643 billion. That is in the manga magazine, but in volumes, it is 196 million. Now in merchandise, Pokemon has sold $61.1 billion, or has made a profit of, and Yu-Gi-Oh! has made a profit of $4.477 billion. So yeah, $61.1 billion. So now we will begin popularity. I posted a poll on social media, and most people voted from where I'm from, Pokemon. Sorry Yu-Gi-Oh!, but like, Pokemon takes the win here, in statistics and popularity. Now I kinda wanna give my opinion on both the series. Okay, first I'm gonna begin with the card game. Take Pokemon. Oops. Now the cover art has yellow, red, and white. Yu-Gi-Oh has like a brownish orange. From those cover type from those covers, which one seems more darker to you? Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. Yu-Gi-Oh, I prefer Yu-Gi-Oh the card game because one it's more complex and two it's more dark. What I mean by that is, I'll show you. I'm going to read off Empowerment. All Dragon Warrior and Spell Attaster type monsters you control gain 300 attack points and defense points. Once per turn, you can discard one card, special summon one Empowered Warrior monster from your deck. Once per turn, you can banish a total of four Warrior and or Spell Attaster type monsters from your graveyard and add one either monster from your deck to your hand. So very complex. Now let's move on to Pokemon. Enhanced Hammer. Let's see what that's about. Discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point. Yu-Gi-Oh! is more complex and dark, and Pokemon's more lighthearted and straightforward. Quite frankly, I like Yu-Gi-Oh!'s complexity and dark tone. Honestly, I'm a guy who prefers a little dark tone over lighthearted things, but I can still enjoy lighthearted things. Now let's move on to the anime. Now each anime both have in the feels moments. My favorite for probably from Pokemon is when... Ash and his Pokemon were trapped in, the, trapped in an ice cave. You know, he tried to cover up his Pokemon in his blanket and use a fire to warm them up while letting himself freeze. But his Pokemon came out of their balls and they tried to warm him up. So they, he said, well, I guess we'll freeze all together. And in Yu-Gi-Oh, I have to say Adam. Adam leaving and going to the other world from Yu-Gi's world is probably the most saddest moment in Yu-Gi-Oh. So each has a moment or a fair share of hitting the feel moments. Now, each time I go to a store or somewhere around my area, I usually see more kids with Pokemon or go to the Pokemon section and buy something from the Pokemon section. Now, I don't usually see kids from the go to Yu-Gi-Oh! sections and buy things relating to Yu-Gi-Oh! because, one, from the internet poll I just did, Pokemon's more popular than Yu-Gi-Oh! Sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh! I like you more, but Pokemon takes the upper hand, like I said before. Pokemon takes the upper hand because I feel like it's more lighthearted. You know, the lighthearted stuff attracts more kids, attracts more audiences, attracts more parents. And I never see any kids or any adults 
go to the Yu-Gi-Oh section. Now, granted, Yu-Gi-Oh is still popular, but Pokemon's more popular. More adults and kids would pick Pokemon over Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, we're going to take each example from a monsters from each of the series. And we have this cute red, red-cheeked mouse or yellow mouse Pokemon monster. It's um, to the point it's cute. Now we're going to take this box, and the first thing I see is a Dark Magician and a Dragon. Obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh has the more darker monsters, as in it has a more darker tone. Now let's see here, would you compare to Dialga? Now, all fans of Pokemon know who Dialga is. He is the Pokemon of time. He's a cool-looking Pokemon, but take him and compare him to a three-headed, blue-eyed dragon. Yes, I think you guys know who would win, but... To me, the um the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon would win, or Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, or like I just said. I'm terribly sorry for messing up there. So th that was really my opinion on both the card game and the anime and the popularity. You know, I have a friend called Tri I Tried Reviews, and he has a collection of Pokemon, you know. All my friends that I know usually like Pokemon instead of Yu-Gi-Oh. I know a couple people who like Yu-Gi-Oh, but this also ties into the popularity. You know, more people just get into Pokemon than in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I like Yu-Gi-Oh because I like it. I like the dark tone. I like the cool monsters. I think the monsters are more cooler than in Pokemon. No matter what you do to me or what you show me, if your opinion, like, or your opinion, you know, like, oh, this is why Pokemon's better than Yu-Gi-Oh. I will always defend Yu-Gi-Oh. I will always like Yu-Gi-Oh, no matter if you show me the statistics. I view them for myself. And basically, it comes down to the point. No matter what you show me, I will always think Yu-Gi-Oh is better than Pokemon. When it comes to statistics, Pokemon just dumps all over Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? Pokemon's obviously the dominant one in the statistics category. But, like, in the darkness, um, Yu-Gi-Oh just wins. Now, in the moments, the feel of the moments, each series has a lot of them. You know, like I said before, and I used an example, but like I, I'm trying to say, I keep repeating it, the idea, no matter what you do, or what you show me, or show me your opinion, or state your opinion, I was always prefer Yu-Gi-Oh! over Pokemon. Now, before I end this video, I would like to show you something. Here's a Yu-Gi-Oh! tin, just more merch. Here's a Pikachu wallet. Let me back that up a little bit. All right. So that ends this video. Let me know what you thought of it. If you liked it, the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Hit that gray bell. Gray, gray bell. Hit that gray bell to be notified when I make a new video. I am signing out.